Report. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Eva Palakova, and I have Kelly Lynn Fox here today for a three part interview where we're going to talk about building confidence muscle. And this is a training for female entrepreneurs. And uh, first things first, I want to introduce Kelly because I love her because she helps women female entrepreneurs movers and shakers who are ready to show up in front of audience who are ready to look comfortable in their own skin but they might be a little bit terrified of getting any attention or they might be used to being in the shadows so this is super important especially if you're an entrepreneur this is super 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 important because in order to succeed in business, you absolutely have to show up and be visible. And you do that. And if you don't do that, you just can't attract, attract the attention that you want. So I invited Kelly today for a specific purpose to teach us how to step up in our full confidence. So something that notice that you might not know about Kelly, she not only is a super rock star entrepreneur and i've seen all the stuff that she does and it's quite amazing her workshops fill up it's insane the amount of stuff that she does she also has six kids so she's a mom of six if you think you're busy just think about this for a second what you would do if you had six kids at home and ran your business it's it's awesome and it's insane and i have so much respect and kelly has been such an inspiration to me so um, let's dive in. Kelly, take it away. Teach us the first step on how to build your confidence muscle. All right. Well, step number one is to see yourself, to shine a light on you. And the way, the way you do that is you don't diminish or um, simplify the things that you're doing every day. I know I used to use the word just before everything that I said, oh, I just have six kids, right? Oh, I just have a podcast. Oh, I just do this. I just do that. And I would diminish everything I did. And, um, you know, until I was able to shine a light on the things that I did every day, I wasn't able to really own all the different things that I was doing. Mm. And so... What I want you to do is I want you to shine a light on what you're doing. And I want you to write down three to five things every day that you can shine a light on and say, I did this. And the reason why you write them down is because there is something that happens when you put pencil to paper. Um, the connection between your brain and your hand, writing it out, it's going to make it more real. It's going to give it more weight. And when you get to the point where you can start sharing them with others, that's mm -hmm. going to even make it, that's going to take it to the next level, right? When you can tell someone, hey, I did this, this, and this today, and kind of, you know, pat yourself on the back or shine a light on what it is that you're doing every day and, and letting other people see that as well. Hmm. Yeah, that's quite interesting. And, you know, what comes up to me when I hear you say that, and I'm sure it comes up for other people, it's like, you know, the inner voice that says, oh, my gosh, you shouldn't be boastful, you shouldn't brag, you're patting yourself on the back, but what exactly, how, what do you say to your clients when they tell you that? Yeah, our voice of fear is going to come up, and it's going to try to talk us down. It's going to try to keep us small. But the important thing to remember is that you don't want to be small. Right? You want to be big. You want to be the rock star. So keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Just keep writing them down. Even if it's, I mean, when I started this, I started with, I got out of bed today. And <laughs> some days awesome. that was an accomplishment, <laughs> right? You've had those days, right? Where getting out of bed was a major choice, <laughs> right? Um, so just Acknowledge yourself for everything, not just the big things, but all those tiny little things that you do as well. And as you continue to do it, it will get easier to do. 
But just know that at first your fear is going to come up. It's going to tell you those things and just mm. say, okay, I got it. I hear you, but I'm going to write them down anyway. Mm. I'm curious. Um, what, if you've worked with somebody, if you had some, some clients that it really made a difference for. Yeah. I had this client uh, last year that was just, I mean, she was just dynamo. She came to me with this, you know, this bullet point list of all the things that she wanted to accomplish with me as we coached together. And then we'd get on the phone and she'd be everywhere. She'd be talking about her dating. She'd be talking about her business. She'd be <laughs> talking about, you know, all these different things. And none of them had to do with the things that she gave me on her list, right? And I was just thinking, okay, so where are we going with this? And, you know, we get into these conversations. She'd tell me about all these things that she had accomplished, you know, all these things that she had done. And I was like, why aren't you using this in your business? And until she was able to see all of those things, really shine a light on all of those things that she had done. She really didn't have a clear path, but once she did, then it just took off from there because she was able to just use all of those things to develop something so unique to her and something that she connected with at such a deep level. And mm. so, you know, she's just doing amazing. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is so true. This is absolutely true. I actually work with a client this morning and I had no idea. And they just came up. She is a career coach. I had no idea. It came up in a conversation out of nowhere. She has coached people on communication and career all around the world. She taught in Singapore, people from Eastern Europe. And I'm like, how, like, how did you not mention this? How do you live in the world talking to yourself? I'm not qualified enough. So I think what, you, what you're pointing to is very, very powerful. It begins the mindset shift. Very, very yes. cool. Very, very yes. cool. All right. So that is for step number one. Anything else to add to this? Well, I'm just really excited to, to be here and to share this step with you and to also come back and share with you step number two. And um, yeah, <laughs> and to be able to help you to gain more confidence is, is just the thing that I think that all, all of us need, right? We all want more confidence, but authentic confidence, right? Not, um, you know, being arrogant or, or, um, you know, the other terms you would use towards someone. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think that shining a light on you is going to be that first step for you to really stepping out of those shadows and shining bright. Mm, beautiful. Thank you so much, Kelly. And we will see you in the next training video. Thank you.